Good evening, Commandos. Rooster here, and welcome to another Friday, which means it's time for Rooster's Ramblings. Now, what's the Rooster's Ramblings? That is where I spend 10 to 15 minutes just rambling about a topic every Friday. It's kind of my vlog style, and I think it's going to work best for us. So, cheers to the uh, official name, Rooster's Ramblings. Sorry if I look a little shaky. I was doing some weed whacking today, and my arm is killing me. I'm holding it like an idiot. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, this week, the topic I really thought about was anime. Now, that's one of my big hobbies. Obviously, uh, Pokemon is an anime, and a lot of the things I talk about or a lot of things I really enjoy are anime, and uh, that's kind of like the biggest thing that I watch outside of really sports. I mean, sports isn't that huge a part of my life. Uh, I love football. Baseball, I can watch, you know, yeah, I'll watch it on Friday, uh, yeah, Fridays, I'll watch it on Friday, it's just Fridays only. Uh, baseball, I'll watch if it's on, but I'm not a big fan of, like, watching games unless I'm actually there. I do follow the tribe, and I like to listen to them on the radio. Basketball, eh, if the Cavs are doing something well, I'll watch it. Uh, Cleveland sports, woo! Um, hockey, I can't really get my team in the area, I'm a Predators fan, so I can't really do that. So, really, outside of sports, anime is really the, the big thing that I watch. And I've been thinking recently just how incredible it is uh, of all the anime that we can watch nowadays. And I mean, like, I was thinking back to, I remember being 15 years ago. Uh, you know, it's 2005. I'm a sophomore slash junior in high school, depending on what part of the year it is. And I, I mean, I'm like, I got Toonami. And I got Toonami. And I got the random stuff I find at anime conventions. And Toonami. That's it. That's all we had. Uh, I mean, at this point, I'm starting to get a little, we just got a computer at my house. Yeah, we're really just getting a computer at my house. So I'm just starting to explore the world of like, oh, maybe I can find things online. Um, I mean, I'm not on YouTube yet. YouTube, uh, I start my account sometime in March 2006. So at this point, if YouTube's up, which I'm not 100% what the start date is, it is a dating site, maybe? I'm not sure. So, I'm not watching anime on YouTube. Uh, so, you know, it's 2005, I'm, uh, I, I'm probably watching Naruto, I'm watching Full Metal Alchemist, those are shows that I'm really enjoying. Uh, I've already seen Cowboy Bebop at this point, and I've watched all of Trigun, some amazing anime. If you guys haven't watched it, obviously go back and check it out. But I mean, that was it, that was my options. It was like, my cousin had some stuff, and they had some DVDs, and it was just like, whatever we could find, trade, borrow, and steal, really. And that was, that was it. And now it's 2020, and I have Netflix, which has a ton of anime. I have the Funimation app. We've got Crunchyroll. We have a YouTube itself. We've still got Toonami. It's back. You've got just random channels all over. HBO has anime on it. I mean, HBO just inked a huge deal with Studio Ghibli, so I can watch all the Ghibli films. Well, mostly Miyazaki. I don't think they have all the Ghibli films. I'd have to look, but I don't think they have stuff like Cat Returns and some of the non-Miyazaki stuff. Uh, I Don't quote me on that. So it's just incredible, just the amount of anime that I can get. I mean, and the fact that I can go to Walmart and just find random anime. And it's like, god dang, man, I can stream all of this. Uh, there's a site I was just looking at today. It was on the VRVs, which is part of uh, the Crunchyroll family, I believe, called High Dive. Uh, because I'm trying to find where I can watch Q Season uh, 3 and 4. Which, if you haven't watched that volleyball anime, it's incredible. Did I think that I would see sitting here telling you, you know what I really love, guys? Volleyball anime. No, no, I did not. But let me tell you what I love, guys volleyball anime. <laughs> but I mean, just the fact that, like, I can go through, uh, Funimation is kind of my main source. Um, it's got a really good, it's got decent dubs. It's got subs if you want to. Um, crucify me all you want. I am not a sub guy anymore. I just can't do it because I've got a toddler running around the house. I just don't have the focus for it. Uh, I used to be, you know, sub or die. That was it. I was like, yeah, man, I'm gonna watch subs. Of course I am. But I do feel that dubs have gotten a lot better in the past 10, 15 years, and that we don't need, we don't need to only be subs anymore. Uh, I mean, there's still some slight changes. Uh, Ball Furry, a recent anime, had a, a little bit of a change for a sexual humor, because Japan was, like, pounding or something like that, and they wanted to take that away. But overall, I think that you're getting a really good, a really good dub experience. Uh, so good, in fact, that I eventually passed where I was subbed on One Piece, and I'm just like, yeah, I'll just wait for Dub to come out. I mean, One Piece ain't gonna end anytime in the near future, so why catch up at this point? I'll just wait for Dub. Uh, I am 570-some episodes into it, for the record, so it's not like I'm just like, yeah, One Piece, I'm never gonna watch it. I, I'm pretty far into One Piece. I'm about halfway through where it currently is. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, just the fact that like we can get all this anime, and I mean, manga as well. There's a Visby. I mean, I have a little computer that I keep in my pocket, and I've got the same apps on here. I've got the Viz Media app, so I can read a bunch of manga. I can just find a bunch of manga on here. It's just, it is insane to me how easy it is just to access like something that's a whole world away. Not only that, there are days that it's simulcast, so if I wanted to watch it subbed, I could watch it day and date with what's happening in Japan. And I just, oh man, if I went back and I said, hey, 16-year-old Chuck, listen, I know it's really hard right now. You, you get to go to like two or three anime conventions a year. And, you know, at that point, that's where you're going to find all your new anime. Uh, that's not going to be it anymore. You're going to get to a point where you don't even go to anime conventions anymore. I mean, aside from the fact that, you know, pandemic and all that bull crap. Well, you know, for good reason. Don't get me wrong. I understand why we're not going to conventions. But it's just fact, you're not going to go to conventions. You don't go to anime conventions anymore. Which, I mean, I am, uh, I don't know, I'm nervous to go back to an anime convention. I was thinking about this year going to, like, a Colossal Con or an Ohio Con. And I just, I, I got really scared, and I didn't, I didn't sign up to go to them before COVID hit, and then COVID hit, and I was like, yeah, we're good. Nope, no thank you. Because I was like, am I too old for them? I mean, that's another thing. At this point, I'm 31, and I remember going to anime conventions, and they were the older folks, uh, my cousins. Love you, Bill. Sorry, I know you're probably going to watch this. Um, you know what I mean? Really, it was just like, it was like the parents, there were a couple older otaku, but there weren't really like, oh, it, it, I'm sure, and I'm sure they were there, I just didn't notice them. But it just, it didn't feel like there was as many older fans of anime. It was a lot of like, a lot of college kids, definitely a lot of college kids. So I, I wasn't the youngest there, but I was definitely, I was kind of in like the middle age, it felt kind of for that group. Like there were a lot of like, you know, 14, 15 year olds with their parents, there were the 17, 18 year olds whose parents trusted them. Uh, you know, thanks, Mom, for letting me go to anime cons at 17 and not staying there all weekend. I appreciate that. Um, and it's just like, you know, and then there were college kids, and then there were, you know, a couple older folks. I mean, there was always, like, the grizzled veteran who you could tell had been there since, like, the Speed Racer days. And, you know, hats off to you, buddy. But it's just, and, you know, am I too old for an anime con? Are the people that were going to anime cons when I was going to anime cons, are they still going? Are the early 2000s people still going? Because, I mean, I'll be honest, I fell off at college, too. There was a good five, six-year gap where I just wasn't watching a lot of anime. I watched uh, 2009, uh, 2008, I would say, until about 2014, 15. Um, every now and then I'd watch a series on, like, Netflix or something, but I wasn't, like, digging into anime and finding out what was out there. And then when I got, uh, we got the Funimation app because I found out Noel had not watched Cowboy Bebop. And that was when it was like, oh man, I totally, like, I love this. This Funimation app is garbage, but look at all the good stuff on here. And that's when you start watching, like, you know, I watched, like, Fairy Tale. I watched, uh, gosh, Cowboy Bebop. I caught some stuff. Uh, I started watching My Hero Academia a couple years ago. Really dug that. Love that. Possibly my favorite anime. I don't know. Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah! I got to finish Brotherhood 2, actually, which Full Metal Alchemist was my favorite anime. Is my favorite anime? I don't know. I need to wait for My Hero Academia to end, and I need to watch it all. I need to finish Brotherhood. So once I figure out those two, then I'll be able to tell. But it's, you know, I watch them, I'm watching Gundams again. Uh, you know, it's like, there's just, there's so, it's just a plethora of riches. And then there's still anime you can't find, which is kind of weird. Um, Metabots is a weird one that I can only find on YouTube. Uh, like, I was just thinking about some of those, like, really bad, like, early 2000s anime that I remember loving. Uh, Metabots is one of them. I don't have a Hulu subscription, like, the, uh, the TV subscription, so apparently you can't watch Beyblades. Uh, Duel Master's another one that's kind of out there in the ether. Uh, Zatch Bell is another one that you can't find. Like, I just, I, I would love to find these animes and kind of catch up or, like, watch them again and just see, like, do I remember them? Do I still dig them? Were they, were they as fun as I remember? Or was it just because that was the only options I had at the time? Well, I don't know. So... I don't know, man. Like, it's just... It, the, 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 just the plethora of riches we get right now, man. God, it's insane. I can't believe it. I just... I can't believe how much anime that we get to... That, that we have right now just at, the, at our fingertips. <sighs> and I love it. I love it. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, I'm going to wrap that up because I can just sit here and talk about how much I love anime for a while. Or I could talk about, you know, well, am I too old to go to anime conventions? Because, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I just, I, maybe it's just me being self-conscious. It happens once in a while. You know, you get in your head and you're like, ah, I don't know if I should do this or not. <sighs> so I just, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe after COVID. I, I would like to go back. I, I would love to go to a Colossal Con. I'd love to go to an Oyo Con. Uh, maybe a bigger, bigger, con, uh, bigger anime con. I don't know. Like, Anime Expo would probably be a good time, right? 
Um, I enjoyed some of the digital conventions over the summer with panels and everything. I mean, I still like listening to people talk about, like, oh, this is how we made this, or this is what we did, or, oh, I love voicing this character, because it's just really fun to get in that headspace. So, I suspect I would still enjoy it, and I would still spend way too much money, I bet. <laughs> Alright guys, um, like I said, I've definitely rambled on too much at this point, uh, hence the Roosters Ramblings tag. If you enjoyed this, let me know. If you have an idea of something I should ramble on about, uh, you know, hit me up, let me know. Uh, I could ramble about anything at this point. I could ramble about sports. Uh, I really don't want to ramble about politics, so don't get me going there, guys. Uh, you know, cats, board games, there's so much stuff. Uh, you know, Gunpla is something I've really gotten into recently. I've got a couple unmilled kits over here following off the anime thing. Uh, what do we got? We got a Death Scythe Hell kit. I just finished a Nobel Gundam kit from G Gundam. And I've got a pretty cool, uh, yeah, Master's Grade uh, Endless Waltz Heavy Arms uh, that I have up on my shelf. I'm looking at it, I'm like, yeah. Uh, and I'm also working, I'm also thinking about painting. I'm also working on getting back into miniatures painting. I just doing it for a while and I got off and I'm like, oh, I should probably get back to that. So if that's something you'd like to see a little bit more of or have me talk about, let me know. Uh, there are some Gunpla videos on the channel. Uh, the one's an hour long and I kind of just ramble about life. But, uh, you know, I do build a leg. And, yeah, let me know, guys. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching this. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's going to help us. Hit that bell so you'll know whenever we put out everything. Uh, comment. Give us a like. All that. Uh, let us know what you think. Find us over on Facebook. That was kind of the start. Crow and Commandos. Uh, we are still working on getting to 50 subscribers on the channel we are eight away as of the recording of this video so once we get to 50 subscribers we're going to be giving away this ultra ball i cannot wait because it means we've hit 50 subscribers which is 50 more than i thought would ever want to listen to my lazy butt and, and yeah guys thank you guys so much i appreciate it i can't do it without you this is rooster signing out <laughs>